Hello again, everybody. Steve Bell getting you ready. It's the uh, Spitfires and Hamilton Bulldogs Game 6 of the OHL Championship Series. And thanks so much for tuning in on the Spitfires website and all the social media platforms and obviously here on AM800. Here with the general manager, the Spitz, Bill Bowler. And, and Bill, uh, it's been a tremendous series so far. And, and uh, I just talked to head coach Mark Savard and everybody's still really optimistic and rightfully so around the club. Oh, we, uh, we're a real confident group. We, we like our team. We always respect our opponents, but uh, in our previous series, as you know, we went into a tough building and won a game in overtime and then uh, won again in Game 7. So all you got to do is win two games. We're not even worried about Game 2, obviously, and they're an excellent team, but so are we, so it should be a lot of fun here tonight. You know, I think heading into the series is hearing whether it's people on social media or other people chatting, all oh, the Spits don't have a chance, Hamilton's this, Hamilton's that. Well, the last time I checked, they have three wins, and all three were by one goal, uh, including the game yesterday. Your club, I, I thought, played one of its best games of the series. Really another tight game. Yeah, it's playoff hockey out there, exactly. Um, you're one shot away, you're one goal away, so... It's, uh, you know, a game of mistakes, and we're going to make a few here tonight. Hopefully we can limit some of, uh, some of those, uh, you know, uh, mistakes. But we're, we're so happy with our team. Our guys are, are still confident. Um, and, again, you're down to two out of three games. Uh, we got to win two hockey games. It's that simple. And, like I said, we start with tonight. And uh, we beat them. We beat them in their building. We beat them here. So this isn't a, a – it's a daunting task, but it's – Nothing that uh, we don't think we can attain or do. How tough is it in your situation? A guy like Mark Savard, of course, the head coach, he's behind the bench. Uh, the players can go out and control. You put the club together uh, through drafts, through trades, and yet once the game starts, it's kind of out of your hands. Yeah, no, you're, again, you're somewhat of a fan, but you, you've, obviously there's still some communication with uh, with our staff and our players, whether it's uh, post-game, during the game with our video coach, our goalie coach, and then obviously the next day with our players. So. Uh, you're part of it, but again, you are you let people do their job and they've done excellent, similar to a player. A coach can't be uh, interfering with a player all game. He's got to let him do his thing and at the appropriate time, uh, if you feel necessary, you may give uh, your two cents or some in insight. But uh, again, we let our people do their job. They've done excellent up to now and uh, it's tough. It's no question, Valerie. You've seen me standing up there pacing and wondering what the heck and why calls are made and uh, how come we missed the net and why we turned the puck over. But like I said, this is a game of mistakes. We've all played hockey, and it's uh, we've no one's perfect out there, and including myself. So a lot of fun watching it, and uh, tonight's going to be an awesome game. It's nice to see the city's responded as well. I believe another cello crowd here tonight is cello the last game. Uh, the city is responding to the fact that that you guys are, are really making some noise. There's only uh, two teams left in the OHL, and the, and the Spits are one of them right now. Yeah, no, to see the support. Um, it's great. The players obviously love it. Um, I think it gives us an edge. Uh, that's why you have home ice. Uh, anytime there's a, a raucous crowd or, or some energy, it, it, you know, the players can feed off it. Uh, you know, when I first came here, or I've been here a lot, as you know, but uh, in this uh, exact role, we wanted to be relevant. And the fact that we are um, for our, not only just the fans, but our sponsors, our supporters, um, for the players to rebuilds and, um, you know, Talk about the future is great, it's fine and dandy, but the reality is, is you have a game tonight. We had a game, and, and that for me is something, as long as uh, we'll do our best to, to stay relevant. And, you know, no, we're, we're maybe not the favorite, we're maybe not the uh, high profile team, the highly ranked team in the country, uh, but again, we're sitting here in a seven game series, a couple wins away from winning an Ontario championship. So we like our group. Uh, I liked our group last year during the pandemic, and I'm going to like our team next year too. And I'm not getting ahead of myself, but um, I owe it to the fans and our team, our players, our coaches, owe it to our plan our fans, supporters that we're relevant and people want to come down on the rink to watch a team that has a chance and it's obvious we have a chance. Finally, Bill, you've made uh, several moves uh, along the way this year, whether it's Christopoulos uh, earlier in the year and Nathan Rebo on the back end, but did you ever think that when you got Matt Anishka from, from the London Knights, you'd only played a handful of games, I know he had success at the Junior B level, uh, but that he would be this much of a, of a part of your club? You, obviously, to predict exactly how this has unfolded, no, I, I think that's a lie. Thinking that Matt could do what he's doing, yeah, we did. That's why you make moves, and when certain individuals, athletes get opportunity, similar to what Wyatt Johnson's done. I don't want to say we predicted it, but it's no surprise when you you're around young people and around athletes like Wyatt, like Matt. Um, 
yeah, this can happen and it's happening for him. And uh, obviously my time in the GOGHL and Junior B hockey, I seen Matt win a championship in Junior B. So, you know, I you don't say this is going to, but yeah, it's not a surprise. This kid's a performer. This kid can play a goal and uh, given an opportunity, it's obvious that's what he's done. And he did it as a young age at the GOGHL uh, in Waterloo and my time in LaSalle. It's, that's the best junior league to develop hockey players for our league, and Matt's a prime example of it, and he's he's performed exceptional. Hey, Bill, as always, thanks for your time. Best of luck, and uh, hopefully uh, still a lot of uh, hockey to be played uh, here uh, in the month of June. Sounds good. Thanks, Beller. Spitz General Manager Bill Bowler, thanks again for tuning in on all the various Spitfire platforms and here on AM 800. Whatever it takes on the ice. Whatever it takes for each other. Fans, wear your reds. Be Windsor proud and Windsor loud. We need you to do whatever it takes.